Okay, team, we're going to go back to those sound boxes and we're going to do some problems involving phoneme segmentation and phoneme blending. Uh, just because this is, you, you're going to see some questions involving this. And also, this, uh, this phoneme sound boxes can be really uh, applied not just to phonemic awareness and assessing phonemic awareness, but you could also use these to help a student with phonics too if there are gaps in letter sound correspondence. So this is going to, you might see this again in, uh, in, in phonics activities, okay? Okay, team, this is a great one involving sound boxes and Elkonin boxes. I want you to take a minute. I want you to read it to yourself. And when you're ready, I want you to unpause the video. So pause me and read and unpause when you're ready. Uh, pause. Unpause. I know this is a reading specialist question, or at least it's from a reading specialist test, but I, I thought that I would include the, this for everyone because I don't think it's that hard. I totally feel like you could do this. So, you know, this could be this. I know it's an intervention with a reading specialist, but this could easily have been an intervention with a teacher, right? Maybe you. You could easily be doing this with one of your students. So here we have an intervention with a reading specialist, or it could be you, a teacher. And in this activity here, they're, they're using a sound box, right? Or a Conan box where, and they're using single syllable words to help with what? Well, sound boxes or all Conan boxes are used for what? Well, right, it, right away you should be like, um, all Conan boxes, sound boxes are used for phoneme segmentation. Like, like in the word jump, they're being asked to be like, I hear a, a j, a, m, p. Now there's a little bit of a kinesthetic activity involved here because what they're doing with these uh, counters is they're taking their finger and they're moving it down. So they're really being explicit with the sounds. So they're being like, so they're touching that, that counter and saying the sound at the same time and moving it down. So it's, it's like a very kinesthetic visual reinforcement of the sounds. So they're like, J, a, m, jump. So sound boxes become with with the counters, just become a very, very uh, specific um, where you're isolating that skill. You're making it very concrete, as opposed to just being like uh, jump. I hear four, right? That's what, that that you you might hear four. You might have rushed it. This is really slowing that down and making it very explicit using multiple med modalities, the moving of the hand, right? The, the visual counters, the graphic organizer, the sound boxes to really reinforce the amount of sounds that are in the word jump, yes? And in this way here, using multiple modalities or senses, we got the touch and movement piece. We got the sight, right? Uh, we have that sound being connected to the uh, to each of the counters. So we got a lot of different senses or multimodalities going on here to help the student um, realize that jump is made up of four sounds. Uh, okay, so, so you look at this right here and you say the purpose of this technique using sound boxes or all conan boxes is to help them with what? It's not syllable accent, ac accents. It's not morphemic analysis. Morphemic analysis is when we look at the parts of a word that carry meaning, uh, like for example, like a prefix, like in in uh, preview, that pre, that prefix has a meaning. The base or suffix, or the root word has a meaning. If there was a suffix, it would have a meaning. So that's morphemic analysis. When we look at the morphemic structure or the parts of a word, like a prefix, a base, a suffix, that carry meaning. We're not doing morphemic analysis or structural word analysis. So cross that out. So it's either A or C. This one is not a, a sound substitution question. So this should be fairly easy. In fact, you don't even need to read the question, right? You should be able to just, would you agree that you should be able to just look at this and be like, bam, sound boxes. That is phoneme segmentation, done. Mic drop. I got to catch the pen though. I don't want to break it. Would you agree? If you know your friend, this should be a mic drop. You should see the sound boxes, right? Your eyes see it. This isn't a one minute question. It's a 10 second question. 
you see the sound boxes. Uh, you should know it's phoneme segmentation. Or, or you see the sound boxes <laughs> and you're like, those are sound boxes. It's not this. It's not that. It's not that. I mean, I think you could do it in 10 seconds if you, if you knew your, your friend's sound box or Oconan boxes, right? Maybe, maybe not, but I think you could. This is a great question from a great exam. So I want everyone to take a look at it. I know this is a, this is a little bit harder. This one's for reading specialists, but this particular question in that exam isn't that bad. And I think it's fair game for everyone. And you get to review some of this great vocab. Um, obviously in this question right here, the answer is gonna involve phoneme segmentation, okay? All right, team, uh, let's keep going. And now we're gonna look at uh, some other activities involving sound boxes. Uh, and so this was a good one. This next one is gonna involve matching up uh, using sound boxes to help with letter sound correspondence issues. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh -huh. 